Ram fam, what's going on? Uh, here's an update on the zip tape uh, waterproofing of the third brake light. A lot of you have been wondering if uh, if it's held up, if I had any leaks. Uh, I have not had any leaks, but let's go outside and take it apart and check it out. I haven't touched it in about 10 months. It was about 10 months ago when I, I did that zip tape. Let's go outside and check it out. <laughs> What's up guys, gonna do the update on the third uh, brake light in the rear of these rams. This is probably my fourth video on a water leak and it was coming from the brake light. Uh, my most recent one was about 10 months ago. Uh, I used zip tape, so I'm gonna take it apart and see if there's any water in there. I have not had any leaks at all. The cab smells fine in here. No water at all. Doesn't smell like a wet foot. Smells, smells good as new. Usually when you get water, it's right here. Uh, well, at least in my case, I press down here and I'll feel water, but it's nice and dry, nice and warm. So that's good. I'm gonna pop it off and check to see if there's any water in there and see if my zip tape held up. Let's do this. All right, so it's been about 10 months and uh, I haven't had any evident leaking at all. So let's pop this thing off and see if uh, there's any water in here. Wow. That's stuck on there pretty good. Hold on a second. Here we go. Here we go. No? It's bone dry, baby. That's good. The zip tape held up good. This is where we, this is where I installed it. And uh, it's, what's good is this weather strip and pushes onto it. So it, you know, this stuff's a good seal anyways. It's nice and sticky, like really sticky. And it sealed it up nice. Plug this. Again, if you're gonna do this, just, uh, I forgot to mention this in my last video, but cut some weep holes on the uh, weather strip on the bottom, just in case water does get in there, it'll it'll come out. Another thing too, when you guys, when you do the zip tape, I'll post the, uh, the video link of when I did this 10 months ago in the, in the description of this video. Uh, make sure when you put this in to get the zip tape back, I'd say at least three inches, because once this is plugged in, once this is plugged in, the plug sticks out pretty far. You don't want to have the tape too close forward where it pushes it back and it'll cause a hole. But I siliconed around the hole that I made and it worked fine. A little silicone residue. Yeah, no issues at all. This is going to be a quick video, man. It's uh, It did great. This is, this is the way to go. I mean, if you're good with your hands, if you know how to flash properly, start the bottom, and then do the middle and the top. And uh, you can get the zip tape at Home Depot. Stuff's awesome. We use it around our windows and doors on when we do additions. Stuff's great. All right, slap this back on. Zip tape worked like a dream. I highly recommend it. It was a brain fight I had because I do a lot of windows and doors in my jobs. And I'm like, this stuff gotta work in my truck, right? It's gotta, and it did. Again, I'll leave a, the link in the description for the uh, original video from 10 months ago. It is a permanent fix. All right, what we learned today, zip tape is your friend. It's your best friend, especially when you have a leak in third brake light. It's flashing tape, so put your first one down the bottom. The next one, you want to overlap it at least an inch and a half. Maybe put three or four pieces. Shit. Put five pieces in there if you want. As long as it doesn't leak. You know, if water gets in there, it goes down. So don't stop from the top down, because then you'll have water coming in again. And you can use silicone. You can use 
quad, anything uh, urethane based, uh, GeoCell makes a clear uh, sealant as well. Anything clear, I mean, you use white, no one's gonna see it. Doesn't matter what color it is. But you gotta make a hole for that wire, either a slice, a hole for that wire. So as long as you, that's all you really have to seal is that wire. And I got it so the wire is up about an inch. So even if water does get in there, even if I didn't seal it, it would take you know, a good amount of water to fill that bay. I made slices in the bottom weather stripping on the housing. So if water doesn't get in there, it'll leak out. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. Next video is actually going to be the harness on the tailgate because I got water going in my plug, which is messing up my locks, messing up my fob, messing everything up. So that's the next video. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. Stay tuned.